Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to use auto complete and auto text in Microsoft Word so that way you can see how they both work and then also uh, see the difference between the two. So let's say you're working on a letter here and you want to add some text that you commonly use. So there's two ways to go about it. So the first, me first method, if you want to go to File and Options and then to Proofing, you'll see you have auto correct options. And there's already some in there by default. So if you know for the copyright symbol, if you do, you know, C in parentheses, it'll actually change it to this. But you could add your own. So let's say uh, you wanted to add something with your address and phone number that you, you know, maybe you type it in there commonly and you don't want to have to type it each time. So what you could do is uh, pick some characters. Now you want to make sure it's something you're not going to commonly type. So it doesn't, you know, if you put in the word the, Every time you type the, it's going to change it to this thing we're going to add. So obviously you don't want to do something, uh, you know, a common word like that. So let's say let's do uh, two equal signs and equals uh, Bob at com or call. Like that. So let's say you commonly add this line of text when you're uh, working in Word. So let's click on OK and OK. So let's say you're uh, typing in something here. And now here you would just type in equal equal real quick. And you can see it automatically fills that in for you. So it's just a quick way to add this section here. Uh, without having to type it in, you know, multiple times, assuming you're going to remember that it, that this uh, line of text here is tied to equals equals. So that's one way to do it. So now the other way is to use auto text. So uh, let's say we have this address uh, and phone number line here, and we use this often. We could highlight this, press Alt F3 on our keyboard. And so now this will let you create a new building block. And the gallery we're putting it in is the auto text uh, description if you want. And you could change this as well. Let's put address at the end here. Okay, so now let's say you're uh, typing something and you want to add your address at the end. So if you don't want to assign like a key like the equals equals like we did for this, you could go up to your quick parts under text. This, I'm recording at a low resolution, so you're not really seeing the labels on these buttons here. Then auto text, and now you can see we have this, and it just adds it in right there. And also what you could do, if you don't want to do the Alt F3 from the same menu, you could go to auto text, save selection to auto text gallery, and fill it in just like that. And so, of course, you could have multiple auto text entries. You know, you could do the same thing for this if you want. Let's do it this way here. Call this a email and phone. So that way too, if you don't want to use the uh, other method with the equals equals or whatever keyboard shortcut you assign that is, you could use this method here, auto text. So two ways of doing it. So like I said, you could use either the auto correct or the auto text. They both kind of work in the same way. So it's just a matter if you want to assign a keyboard shortcut with the auto correct or if you want to have it in your drop down list for the auto text, either way will work. And let's say you want to get rid of this one. If you right click on it, you can have some other options here where you want to ins insert it and so on. Edit the properties if you want to change something and organize and delete. Then you just got to find it in your list. So let's click on delete. Now, when you go back, that one's gone. We just have that other one we made. And then once again, for the autocorrect, go to your options. Under proofing, autocorrect options, and then add it from here. And then, of course, you could delete it from here. You just have to find it in the list here. And delete just like that, and it'll be gone. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.